It is the 20th of October, and Zane and I are heading down to the Lazy Man on the bottom of the food plot. Uh, hopefully a big, big fat doe comes walking out there tonight and Zane can get a shot at her. He's got another doe tag he wants filled, and uh, I'd like to get some does out of there, you know, as early on this season. You know, the longer you wait, the more feed they eat, so I'd rather them those tags get filled early on then later that leaves more food for the bucks looks like there's a lone goose following us in oh thanks for the people new hat yeah there you go zane <laughs> even it even makes zane look good <laughs> it's hard to do <laughs> that's where that bobcat was standing it was right there when i came a few times ago They've been just pounding the hell out of this scrape right here. There's a new rub. Which one is it? The 10 point with the like G one and a half. Oh, is it Rover? I don't, I don't know. It's a mainframe eight point. Well, between his brow tines and his G2s, he has... I'll have to ask him. I don't, I don't he's think He's a I'm... solid, at least three and a half inch deep. Three and a half inch. I don't want to say three and a half. He only has the one day. I'm freaking hammering and stuff. Well, Zane and I made it into the Lazy Man stand down here. We're right in the bottom corner of the food plot where the deer oftentimes filter up out of here. They bed in this thick brush. And right here where we're at is mostly winter wheat or winter rye that I planted. And they seem to be hitting that pretty hard. It's kind of like a staging area before they get up here into the brassicas and the corn. And Zane's looking for another big doe. So hopefully big doe comes walking out here and Zane gets a crack at one. The shooting's usually pretty close in here when it happens. Usually within, you know, 30 yards for sure. But Zane's shooting a new broadhead. What is that thing called, Zane? It's, it's the uh, Sever Robusto. It's a 150 grain expandable, all stainless steel. I uh, started transitioning over to shooting 150 grain broadheads the year before last. I transitioned over to 150 grain single bevels and I wanted to try 150 grain expandables for shooting for random chance on fields that I had to shoot out a little bit and they have those so I'm going to give them a try. Yep. I'm sure it'll put a heck of a hole in it. We're going to go ahead and get this window opened up. We'll sit tight and see what happens. Yep. I watched it walk right through that hole. It looked like a big body deer, so I bet you it's a... It's going left. Yeah, he does. I wonder if that's a deer he 
yourself back there. Yeah, I bet it is. wonder like what he'll do next year if he'll throw a few more points or if he's just going to be a straight up six point again yeah if you think think back to like the big six and yeah looking at him it looks like he's just going to be a six point to me i mean i mean that that's about identical to that six point i had today when i checked that one camera yeah kind of doing the same thing looking at it. I was thinking back a few years my mom shot that 1.6 and I had that one I called it a 7 but it had like a G3 about that big yeah they are like twins I was like oh here we go again it's got a two year old body oh yeah got a little neck yeah stomach goes way up or looking past us or what? I think those deer are still over there. because this chair makes too much noise. Your deer that are kind of working this way. They look like they're gonna come down that path that doe did earlier. Yep. They're away they're quite a ways down there though still. Still got a food plot. Oh no, they're off the food plot. staring contest. little buck. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up Zane and I's hunt this evening. We ended up seeing, I think, four or five different doe and two bucks. That two and a half year old six point 
that came out early on and then another one that kind of skirted the edge a little bit it looked like a, a smaller year and a half old buck but uh, the big does never came out in range so it started raining and we decided to get out of there uh, I'm excited about tomorrow morning we're gonna be going to the duck blind and we're gonna be hunting the duck blind for the first time in a few years so I'm kind of excited about it I got uh, all the breakfast stuff set out and ready to roll so we'll see you in the duck blind tomorrow morning thanks for watching everybody <laughs>